I would like to demonstrate a technique that I have named capsular membrane suture. For fixating sulcus placed intraocular lenses, when there is capsular membrane present, but the technique of membrane optic capture cannot be used, as in this case because the opening in the membrane is too large for capture. This one piece lens is attached to the membrane with one haptic that we have to loosen to rotate it to a position where we can use the suture technique. In the process of rotating this lens one of the haptics, the other haptic came into the anterior chamber and we'll have to reposition it again behind the iris. So the alternatives in this case would be to remove the lens and replace it with an anterior chamber lens, but that would take a large incision. And another option would be to suture the haptics to the sclera or to the iris. But I would argue that the membrane is the ideal fixation for any intraocular lens. I've repositioned it here now to a location where the haptics are overlying the membrane that can be accessed for the suture placement. You see the suture entering, going through the capsular membrane, under the haptic, and then back out again into the chamber. And to exit, I've made a paracentesis opening, and we're going to thread the needle onto a 26 gauge cannula to guide it out of the paracentesis opening. You can see how resistant that membrane is to tearing, even with that deviation of the needle as it was pulled out of the incision, still did not tear the membrane. With the Sinsky hook, we are pulling the loop of the suture out of the incision, but not the entire suture, to use the seepser knot tying technique. This avoids having to place the knot down into the eye with forceps. Certainly micro forceps now would make that possible even through a small incision, but this is an ingenious technique of wrapping the end around this loop of suture and then through the loop and pulling it down with traction on each end of the suture, which brings the knot down onto the haptic. So we're not going to complete this knot until we're sure that the lens is in good position. I'm trying to rotate it to slip the haptic a little farther along on the knot for ideal centration. And then a placement of the other suture, again through paracentesis, through the membrane under the haptic and out again, and then capturing the end of the needle with a 26 gauge cannula. You can see that we have used iris hooks to get adequate exposure in the area where we are going to do the suturing. The capsule is the ideal fixation for any intraocular lens and if the bag can't be used we can use the optic capture techniques of either uh, 
Selka's place haptics or bag haptics for anterior fixation and either sulcus placed or bag location of the haptics for posterior CCC capture. And then we can use membrane fixation with optic capture when an opening is the ideal size in the membrane or can be fashioned with vitrectomy still maintaining enough fibrous elements to capture the lens. But here the opening is too large and we have to use an alternate technique and for that I recommend this suturing technique which I've utilized now in eight cases all with excellent outcomes. Here the suture is being trimmed and we can see that this entire technique is done through paracentesis openings without requirement of any large incision. The iris hooks will be removed after this final uh, knot placement on the first haptic to achieve proper centration and fixation of this lens to the capsular membrane. And now the suture being trimmed with the micro scissors. I've utilized in one case this technique when the membrane was only in the shape of a U and somewhat unstable but still fixed the lens uh, to the membrane not requiring alternate fixation technique and you can see here how stable this is to the membrane in a central position. And as we look at the eye two weeks post-operatively on the slit lamp, there's no pseudophacodinesis. It's in a centered position and the eye is quiet. So the capsular membrane suture technique for fixation is recommended anytime there's fibrotic elements on a capsule that can be utilized and where optic capture techniques cannot be utilized. And I thank you for your attention.